All right, this segment is on the Class 3 harness. Uh, the nice thing about the CMC Pro Series Class 2 harnesses is they come with an attachment or a convertible component that you can attach the torsal segment onto, converting the Class 2 into a Class 3. So it's a nice vertical, or a nice versatile piece of equipment that gives you variable options. The other interesting thing is the chest attachment on the torsal component of the convertible harness, making it a Class 3, is oriented in the same fashion as the waist belt component. Um, if that rigging element were, low, were oriented vertically or twisted in the opposite fashion so that it was perpendicular to ground, we would be attaching a straight eye rack to that component to stay nut down towards the ground as opposed to a twisted eye. Another important component in evaluating which attachment you utilize with harnesses is whether it is a, uh, a low angle or a high angle component as well as the reach of the arms of the rescuer. So the higher up the attachment point goes on the body, the greater the reach of the rescuer is going to need to be in theory. Utilizing that waist attachment uh, is going to give you that shortest component as well as the ability to invert. So in converting to a class two to a class three harness, understand that that upper attachment point uh, will make inverting in that harness much more difficult because of simple uh, component of attachment and body mechanics as well as arm reach as well as arm reach. If we look at this convertible component, we see that we have two shoulder adjustments to go ahead and adjust the vertical positioning of the front and back pads on the torso attachment. We also have two side components or adjustment elements to allow us to alter uh, how snug that is cinched down around our torso. Again, we want to use that two finger rule of thumb when evaluating the fit of those elements. Another key feature on the harnesses or an element that may be present in other harnesses is managing those straps. If you do not have the presence of the Velcro keepers, as Scott turns to his right, to his right, we're going to see the Velcro keeper that allows us to mine those straps. As Scott turns to his left, we're going to notice that there's no Velcro keeper on this side. A simple way to manage that is by putting a simple overhand in the remaining portion of the slot of the strap and then formulating a slip knot by passing a bite through that simple overhand. As Scott turns all the way around to the rear, we're gonna notice that he has a high rigging attachment as well on the back of his harness. It's also important to note with high angle applications that if you are performing rescue applications in a confined space environment, the NFPA requirement is to utilize a class three harness in all high angle applications.